Hi, Gary Galka from DAS. I'm holding our existing MelRem ATDD. This particular device has the REM feature, which radiates an independent EMF field around the antenna. It has EMF, temperature, and we also have a video online on YouTube that shows a little bit more about this. But the important reason why I'm showing you this today is I want to show you a more advanced unit that we just introduced. Um, I'm going to close this down. You can see that it has four basic lights. On the back, behind the tilt stand, we have on-off buttons. I'm going to turn it on. It does a quick diagnost, and you can see that the antenna, the sensitivity of the, of the antenna is relatively close, within an inch or two to operate. On the right side, we have a momentary push button and a light, and that's reserved for the plus and minus five degree ambient temperature changes. So you can get a, you can hear a little bit of tone there. And it goes blue for cold. All right, so that's the current version of our REM ATDD model. Put that aside. Now it comes into play uh, the new version. Just at a glance, you can see a uh, quick change, or just to point out some of the features. First thing you're going to notice is that there are more lights on top. That's because we went with a five light, or actually a six light, but one light is reserved for our baseline with five additional lights. So the other important feature with the new model is that we have a REM zero which is a baseline button on the side, and a REM range, which is uh, a sensitivity adjustment. And that sensitivity adjustment can be adjusted in five increments to make the REM more or less sensitive, depending on the circumstances and the location where it's being used. And I'll get into that a little bit more later. On the left side, we have the ATDD with an indicator light. It has ascending tones for temperature increase. There's five tones, and there are five octaves decreasing, descending tones. And the light tells you which direction you're going in. Now, this is the REM antenna that radiates a field. This is for the thermocouple, which is red here. Okay, this is the digital EMF. And that little thing right there is called a thermistor. And that's what's indexed to the ATDD circuit. That's what gives you your temperature tones. All right, so let's turn this on. We've got the basic millimeter on. Now we're going to turn on the rest of the circuit. Behind the tilt stand, we have the REM and ATDD power. We're going to first turn on the REM. It does a quick diagnostic check. You can see that it goes to a green light. Now let's create interference in the field. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about in a minute. Okay, that's the maximum tone you're going to get. Now, the reason we decided to go with an adjustable sensitivity is for a number of reasons, and I'll point those out momentarily. But let's ramp this up to the next level. You'll see that two lights come on, indicating that's sensitivity level two. It's a little more sensitive. You can detect at a further distance. Typically speaking, we're looking at one to two inches in sensitivity level one, two to three in two, uh, three to four, from four to four and a half, and from four and a half up to five inches away, depending on the sensitivity level. So let's go up to three. Let's go up to four. Now let's go up to five. You can hear the, how the tone increases, also proportionately with the distance. Now here's something that, that I want to point out. In the high sensitivity level, it's very important that you hold the meter relatively low. Okay, to prevent mutual interference. As you can see, if I hold it down below, I'm not near any of the circuitry that can detect your hand, which can actually, your hand actually emits uh, energy. So, but let's say that you held this device here and you're triggering it. Watch what happens now. It automatically corrects for that. Now, just to illustrate another, obviously, if you're holding it in a certain way, it's going to help correct in baseline, taking into consideration the energy from your hand, and you can still detect now. Now, let me show you another uh, prime example of how this circuit works. Let's set it down on the table, because I baselined it to my hand. It just automatically calibrated. Now, let's bring in a piece of metal. Let's bring the antenna on. 
right underneath the antenna, like that. It's a metal ruler. Now baseline to the metal, but I can still detect the energy from my hand. And I can move this about and nothing happens. But let's move this out of the equation. Give it eight seconds to recalibrate itself. Approximately. And then watch what happens when I bring it back in. It's detecting the metal again. It detects anything that interrupts the EM field around the antenna that's metal or con that conducts electricity. There you go. All right, so this is the new REM ATDD. Um, it also has a very bright flashlight built into it and all the great features that the, uh, the millimeter has, including min, max, hold, backlight on, off, so on and so forth. Also the fast range, which allows the EMF, digital EMF, to respond 10 times faster, which is important for catching spikes and transients in the environment. Okay, this is the new REM ATDD. Uh, it'll be available very soon. We're just starting to ramp up on this. I wanted to share this with uh, the paranormal community. Have a great day. That's the end of this one.